Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be explaining the procedure for basic multiplication on abacus with the help of four examples of two digit number multiplied by one digit number. Before st uh, starting to learn or and understand the multiplication on abacus procedure, a student must already have done two things. Firstly, he should have prepared all tables of one digit numbers in his mind very well. Very well means even a random uh, so sum like 7 multiplied by 6, he should be able to answer quickly as 42 and one must not need to recite the entire table of 7. So this is the first requirement. All tables of one digit number should be very well prepared. Secondly, a student should have already learned understood and practiced addition formulas okay all addition formulas from small friend big friend and combination all addition formulas so a student should have already practiced all these formulas before starting to uh, do multiplication on abacus okay the four examples that i have uh, considered here are four different kinds so there is some care to be taken while doing each of these uh, different sums I have covered these all four uh, situations here and this will help you understand the procedure very well and you will be able to do any two digit number multiplied by any one digit number multiplication on abacus easily after understanding the procedure for these four sums. So watch them very carefully. Another important point to uh, everyone should know is while reciting tables of one digit numbers like for example 3 multiplied by 8 is 24 it's already a two digit number but 3 multiplied by 2 is 6 this is a one digit number so in situations like this when we get a one digit answer for any one digit number table the we have to make it a two digit number that is 3 multiplied by 2 should be read as 0 6 and not just 6 this is very important for getting a correct answer during basic multiplication on abacus procedure okay so 1 multiplied by 4 will be read as 0 4 8 multiplied by 1 will be read as 0 8 3 multiplied by 3 will be read as 0 9 okay so please be careful we have to always have a two digit answer to any one digit number table okay so let's start with the first example first example is 48 multiplied by 2 in this case first thing we should know from which rod to start so for two digit number multiplied by one digit uh, multiplication the total number of rods that will be in play that is that will be in use will be three two two digits here one digit there total rods will be you in use will be three okay so we'll start from the third rod now this middle white dot is our first rod that is a units place rod so first second and third this is where we'll start our all our two digit multiplied by one digit multiplication sums all sums will start from the third rod first step to be done is four multiplied by two that is the tens place digit of the first number multiplied by the multiplier two so four multiplied by two the answer is eight but as I said just a couple of minutes back, it, the, it should be read as 0, 8. Okay, so 4 multiplied by 2 will be taken as 0 and 8. Okay, the first step is done. For the second step, we'll move one place to the right. That will move to the second rod. And now we'll take 8 multiplied by 2, which is 16. 8 multiplied by 2 is 16. It will be added from this rod. That is the second rod. So 1 will be added on this second rod and 6 will be added on the units place. That is the first rod. And now we have the final answer as 96. 48 multiplied by 2 gives us 96. Now let's move to the second example. In this case, it's 18 multiplied by 6. We'll start again from the third rod. The first part, first step is 1 multiplied by 6 that is a tens place digit 1 multiplied by 6 1 multiplied by 6 the answer should be read as 0 6 okay so 0 on this third rod and 6 on the second rod now for the second step we'll move one place to the right and now consider the units place digit 8 multiply it with 6 
8 multiplied by 6 is 48. So we'll add 48 from this second rod. 4 is to be added on this rod. That is the second rod. For addition of 4, we'll use the big friend formula of 4, which is minus 6 plus 10. And then 48 units plus 8 will be added on the first rod. That is the units place rod. So the answer that we have for 18 multiplied by 6 is 108. So if you have noticed, we had to use the big friend addition formula in this case. So that is the importance of learning addition formulas before starting to learn multiplication on abacus sums. Okay. So we have completed this second example, 18 multiplied by 6. Moving to the third example, this time it is 37 multiplied by 8. For we'll start again from the third rod. 37 multiplied by 8. So the tens place digit is 3. 3 multiplied by 8 gives us 24. So we'll add 24 from the third rod, 20 and 4. Then we'll move one place to the right, coming to the second rod. Now we'll consider the units place digit 7 multiplied with 8. 7 multiplied by 8 gives us 56. So we'll add 56 from the second rod. So 50 and 6. So there was no need of any addition formula in this case. Okay, and the answer that we have got for 37 multiplied by 8 is 296. Now coming to the final example. This is again a slightly different kind. If you follow the rules that I already mentioned, you'll get a correct answer each time. Okay, now we'll again start with the third rod. The first step is tens place digit 5 multiplied by 9. 5 multiplied by 9 gives us 45. So we'll add 4 on the third rod, 5 on the second rod. For the second step, we'll move to the second rod now. And the final step is units place digit 1 multiplied by 9. 1 multiplied by 9 gives us 0, 9. Remember, it is a one digit answer. So we have to read it as 0, 9. So 0 on this second rod and 9 on the first rod that is the units place rod and the correct answer that we have for 51 multiplied by 9 is 459. Okay, so I hope you have properly understood this procedure for basic multiplication on abacus with these four different examples. With this, with the help of all the rules and the guidelines that I've mentioned in this video, you should be able to do any two digit number multiplied by one digit multiplication from here on. Just remember, you should know the tables by heart very well. And you should also know all the addition formulas, how to use them in what situation very well. Okay, if you note these two things and the two digit answer part for any one digit number table, if you follow all these three rules, then you will never go wrong with any two digit multiplied by one digit sum. Okay, so remember practice well and you'll get gain good confidence in this.